Today, I'm going to take you guys through me just destroying, literally destroying, like not pouring powder out or anything, but taking everything out of all my drawers and putting them into new drawers, setting up a new rolling cart, like I got a new rolling cart, and just taking the stuff that I have in this closet here out of the boxes that they're in and putting them somewhere so I don't like, I don't know, I haven't been, my stuff is not organized by color, it's organized by brand, but it's getting hard now to find things. So I'm gonna show you guys everything, the before. I'm gonna take you guys through me building the cart. I'm gonna take you guys through me organizing this and taking everything out and reorganizing and hopefully the after looks somewhat better. This isn't like some fancy rinky dink like, I'm not a beauty influencer. I don't have the money to spend on a room like that. This is what I can do with my small little storage and my small nail nook and everything. So maybe if you have a small space just like mine, you might find some inspiration or relatableness to this video and you're just like, that's my life. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started on organizing. <laughs> So this is what I'm currently working with, with my storage. This is my 10 drawer rolling cart that I got from Aldi for $29.99. I already busted the front of this drawer, but in this drawer I keep all of my stamping supplies. In this drawer I keep liquids and a bunch of other random shit. There's really no rhyme or reason to this drawer. In this drawer I've kept my Revel colors. All these are Revel. And then on this side, I have Sparkle & Co. Oh, so many Lux glitters. Yeah, a lot of Sparkle & Co., other brands. Basically, I'm getting pretty tight in this storage, and I had to upgrade to a different one because I like to organize by brand, not by color. This is my desk situation. This is where I actually do my nails, where I do my videos, everything. So you see my mount. That's the top of the desk. I have like a bookshelf area and that's where I store a lot of other stuff down there. And then this box is full of stuff that has been needed to be swatched for some time now and I've been neglecting. So that'll be handled after all this organization gets done. And then in this closet, my gosh, this closet, the second and bottom shelf are all nail stuff. like. I need to do something with this. Why do, oh, this is ridiculous. Not saying that I have too much stuff, like some people would probably feel that way. Anyways, in these I have dip powders, in this one I have gels, surplus stuff, Ugh, everywhere, stuff everywhere. I have polishes in here, more shit that I don't know what's back there. Oh, Rossi. To get straight to the point, I bought a, Another rolling cart, it is massive. Well, not massive, it's taller than the one that I have. And I feel like this will help me get the bulk of my dip powders from Revel and Sparkle and Co. organized all in one place. And then I can use the other cart for smaller brands that I don't have a lot of or supplies and polishes and stuff like that. Anyways, I bought this cart from where was it? Amazon. I got it on Amazon for $35. It was super affordable. I had a Christmas gift card. Yay. But anyways, I bought it from Amazon instead of Michael's because if you looked at the dimensions from the two, this one was actually larger. So it's the same height and the same width to the back, but the width from side to side, it was more square than narrow. So that's what I really liked about this storage cart. So that means that the weight would be more evenly distributed for me.
here it is all assembled very very beautiful i love how it looks empty nice and clean but it's time to get to organizing so i'm the type of person that when i organize when i clean or anything like this even if it's just not my dip powders if it's my house i have to take everything out and put it like in the center pile and start sorting that way like i'm not a neat kind of organizer i it has to get messy before it can get better so what i'm doing here is i'm putting a drawer liner in my drawer and it helps my dips from rolling around while they're in the rolling cart so i highly recommend that if you use a rolling cart or any kind of drawer system to organize your dip powders that you get drawer liners for them because they're really awesome i can't believe that i am as an adult getting excited about drawer liners it's like getting excited about a new home appliance but i'm like drawer liners go get them guys it's so cool i mean it is i mean the reason i decided to get them in the first place is because i keep my dipalicious nails jars on the side i don't lay them flat from like bottom so they were on their side and i kept opening the drawer and closing the drawer opening and closing it so the jars would roll back and forth and run back and forth and then they started to loosen the lids from keeping them on their sides that way so that's when i was like i need something to stop this drawer liners i haven't even told you what i'm doing right now i'm organizing my rolling cart the tall one that i just bought um i organized all the sparkle and co well i'm still working on it there's a lot oh a lot Anyways, I'm trying to organize my Sparkle & Co. based on SB, so subscription bag, DP for her dip powder line, TS for the Team Sparkle colors, which by the way, there's a sale going on February 1st and 2nd. Oh my god, I'm buying so much shit. Why, Carol, why am I like this? Uh. Okay, anyways, um, I put all of the Lux glitters and chromes in one drawer and I have so much more space here. So in my first rolling cart, I could only fit all of my Lux glitters and chromes double stacked and it filled the entire drawer. Anyways, in this new one, I put all my Lux glitter, glitters and chromes in the drawer and it single stacked the entire drawer. Okay, so I ran out of drawer liners, which makes me sad. So um, I'm gonna take a break. I'm probably gonna go to the gym because if I'm gonna leave this house, I might as well. And I'm going to go to the dollar store and get more drawer liners. That's why I've been getting my drawer liners. They're super duper cheap. I mean, a dollar, I can't. Um, and then it lined one, two, three, four, five, six, like eight drawers. So yeah, I need more drawer liners and I will be back later. Okay, things seem to have gotten worse. I'll put a couple of pictures, but there's a lot of things I'm throwing away. I emptied all of these boxes so that there were stuff in them. So now they have a happy home somewhere in here. And then I have gotten a lot cleared out from there, which was most of those boxes. That is going to finally move to go under there when I find places for those items. And then some of that stuff has to go somewhere. But yeah, this is the middle roundup of my situation. But everything has found its home. Um, I had a lot of like empty washi tape containers that I took out of washi tape storage, but I got rid of the box box part of it. So I use this to hold like liquids and cuticle oil bottles and stuff. So that's good to keep like up here, but like, yeah, without having to buy more stuff. Um, I have a whole washi tape box that's not gonna be used now. So I'm trying to either sell it or give it away. <sighs> but that closet looks good. All right, everybody, welcome back. I'm gonna show you guys the after of all the setup and the disaster and the cleaning up. So you guys can see the final result of everything that I did and how I cleaned up. So we're gonna get into it. So what I ended up 
doing with this one, I changed, I didn't change. I put the bulk of my dip powders in these, meaning the two biggest brands that I shop at all the time. So it's Rebel Nail and Sparkle & Co, in case you didn't know. So in my top drawer, I divided it between the Team Sparkle colors, which are retiring very soon, and other like unique colors like collections and stuff that don't have a specific number. So these are my SB colors and my DP colors. Literally so many of them. This is all my Lux glitters. I mean, I have so much room. So these allow for double stacking, as you can tell right there. I can double stack, but I have all my Lux glitters. And in the back over there, I have all my chromes, which I might change those to move those in the front, to be honest. This drawer is my leftover, like one ounce jars. If you know me, you know I love mini jars. I'm not a big fan of one ounce jars. So eventually these are gonna make their way to mini jars. However, there's a few that I refuse to put into mini jars. Like Party Gras is a huge hitter and I give it away whenever my friend wants it. Peace, Love and Sunflowers is a beautiful color. And Birthday Fierce, like that's gonna stay in a one ounce for the rest of its life. Then we have Rebel. So I think it's divided five and five. No, one, two, three, four. No, it's four and then the rest are Rebel. So this drawer, I put like my exclusive collections and stuff. So I have my freebie jars over here. I have my chromes here. I have my Day of Rebel colors. My, um, these are going to be, I don't, I know where I put the other ones, but I haven't gotten them out yet. And then Windshell, which is the home for the holidays collection. And these are the, what, what collection is that called? And these are the Treasure to Trove collection. In this drawer, I put all of my Gift of Rebel and my collections. So you can tell that I put my Gift of Rebel in half ounce jars from the previous two years. This year, 2020, I have the half ounce jars for the Classy and Sassy. And then I have like Girl Boss. I have the Dia de la Rebels actually under there somewhere. And then I have the Goddess of the Sea collection. Not like you guys need to see that all over again. Here's the new collection that just came out by Revel. I still have to put those in their own specific drawer. So I just tossed them here in this like empty throwaway drawer. Not throwaway, but I have nothing specific in it. In here, I have mood changers on one side, sun changers on another side, and then glows in the middle. So anything that changes is in this drawer. Changers, this is changers, everything that changes. In this drawer, I have all of my glitters. Literally everything that is glitter is on this side. So opulent, like a bunch of stuff. I don't like having one ounce and two ounce jars, except for in colors that are like exclusive and I know I'll want later on. These are mystery box colors. So glitters, mystery box. And then apparently I love solids because this entire drawer is full of solids. The reason I don't color coordinate like purples, blues, yellows, all that in a specific drawer is for two reasons. One, because I feel like that would really not take enough space because I would have like five purples. And then secondly, because when I open a drawer, I don't wanna open a drawer full of purples and try to figure out which purple exactly I'm looking for. I mean, that would be easy for purples, but like pinks. I don't wanna open a sea of pink and look for that specific color. But I know if I look in my solids drawer, cause the color I'm looking for is a Rebel solid and I specifically need a pink, all I have to do is look for the specific pinks I have, which are not that many in this drawer. Moving up to my next cart, which I've had for over a year now and I absolutely love. Here I have a um, washi tape insert that I took out of one of the washi tapes that I'm not, boxes that I'm not using. And I put all of my cuticle oils from Candy Skincare. I have my gels right here. Other like nicks and knacks. This is actually two things that I'm trying to sell, but yeah, I'm not gonna talk about that. Um, these are labels I printed in case my Gift of Rebel does not come with classy and sassy labels, just in case. I have my cuticle oils here. And then inside this box, I have Candy Skincare Skin Creams. And then here is the setup here. So you guys are probably wondering, oh, I keep swatch sticks on the side here too. 
So you guys are probably wondering what is on all these drawers. So we're gonna start at the bottom just cause I'm gonna work my way up. So in this drawer, I keep all of my stamping supplies. I love nail stamping. So it is full of stamping supplies, but they're all pretty organized for the most part. Like I have these containers. This one's from Maniology. This one is from Moyu London. I have a mini me box full of stamping supplies. I have more stamping plates here that I don't want to take out. I should put that over there. And then I have a box of stamping and then a whole nother container back here full of more stamping plates. Lots of stamping. I love to stamp, in case you didn't notice. And here I have all of my liquids. I actually have a set of liquids in one other location. No, technically two. But these are all of my liquids. These are liquids that I haven't used yet and I need to use for my liquids tests, except for this mini mobiles one. I think I've used that one before. So these are all liquids that need to be used for my liquids tests. And here are all of my gels. Anything that is a gel except for this is a polish. These are all my gels. I need to take those out and just put them there. Love gel. I love gel so much. So much versatility in it. So I keep them here. Here are all of my polishes. And here are a couple other liquids that I've used. And these are liquids that I'm not going to be doing liquids tests on. These came from a friend who sent me surplus ones that she was trying out. Um, and then these are Manny Mobile's ones that I've tried, which I need to bring that top coat up here. For these drawers, these are dip powders. So I broke this up by like brand per se. So the majority of the brands that I have in here are Triple D and there's actually more right there needing to be swatched. So these are all Triple D powders. These are all Zooty nails, which it's filled all the way to the back. Luckily I get them in quarter ounce so I can double stack. And here is actually like multi-brands. So I have to move these into sample jars, but I haven't done that yet. So these are um, like smaller brands, like Miss Raven, Kimber's Creations, Panda Dips. I just got these, they're really cute. Nebula Dips, Jude Nails It, Triple Vitamin. And these are Manny Mogul's ones. And here is Dipalicious. I love everything she makes. She makes amazing powders. I'm just gonna say that. I love her powders. So pretty, they're so gorgeous. Here are Manny Mogul, or yeah, Manny Mogul's right here, which actually I need to move these samples because they're Manny Mogul samples. Let me move that down there. Um, these are Manny Mogul's, yeah. So, and then these are double dipped colors. And I have one other color somewhere. Oh, I actually, did, did I swatch this? I don't know. Yeah, so these are all double dipped mini molds. So then this drawer is empty. This drawer has my new friend's colors all powdered up. I can't show you guys that. Those are top secret at this current time. And then here's where I keep my drill and stuff. So I had previously kept my drill in a box and I would have to open the box every single time, drag it out, all this stuff. So I finally just used one of these little things I got from the Dollar Tree and put like a file, drill bits in here, extra drill bits, and more drill bits here, more drill bits there. Um, but I like having it here and accessible in the charger. So I really like that. I really like having that in its own drawer. Under here, um, just cause like I haven't determined where I want to put this yet is where I keep all of my glitters, like random glitters that I buy or I get in orders and stuff. These are all glitters and I love putting them in a case like this just cause they're all in one place and I don't have to hunt 20 different locations for glitters. So over here into my desk area. So right now I was just planning, writing in my planner. So I have that there. Keep my cuticle oil readily available at all times. Here I have a bunch of swatch sticks as well as right there. And if you guys want to know where I got all this, it's Dollar Tree. This thing I got at Aldi, this rack. I really love this rack. So I keep the liquids that I'm currently using on all of my manicures right here. Just so they're readily accessible. I can put them here. I can put them back. My UNT, my nail art brushes, the gel top coat I currently have open and the cuticle remover I currently have open. I keep my vitamins here and I keep my jar, two ounce jar of Scarlet here. I use that a lot, see? Oh my God, I just found this. I couldn't find this a couple days ago, so I had to use a bigger one. So I get to put that back. I also have these lamps here 
for my recording setup. These I don't use when I'm doing a manicure. I keep these turned off and I have an overhead light that I keep turned off. I only use this large one when I'm doing a manicure. I really, really just absolutely love the lighting on this. And if you guys want to know where I got any of this stuff, I will have all of that linked in the description below because I get lots of questions on my lamps and my mount. So this is actually um, an Archon mount. Really love this thing. So this is my cutesy area. Cutesy, cutesy, cutesy. I had those custom made. And then I have some notebooks, my advent calendar, which I did not put in any of the drawers. Those colors are still here. I just really love that box. So I don't want to change it. This is when I do my makeup. Here's a color from Rebels PR, Sparkle & Co swatches, pens and stuff when I'm planning. I always keep my powder for my makeup up here because I'm afraid it's gonna open. I keep a lot of lipsticks in here, some tools, buttons, like nothing really nail related except for that wax pen. Um, I got this from Sparkle & Co when I visited them in June of last year. It was just really cute. It's not, it's, there's no value to it. It's just a really cute thing and I was like can I have that that's really adorable um this so if you guys know they sent me a six ounce jar of confetti popped because it is literally my favorite color and it makes me so happy and Bob Ross okay back to normal keep my lamp here I keep these puppy pads here just to keep it clean at all times down here is the stuff that I had to figure out what to do with it and I finally figured out what to do so these all have to be swatched and this is a video I'm making soon. There's actually Born Pretty colors in here. So all those have to be swatched. And here is the tools that I'm currently using, meaning I have files and stuff, brushes, um, these that I'm currently using. And then I keep my cute, or these here, this, more files, brushes, stuff that I'm currently using. It's not completely full, but yeah. Here is where I keep backup stuff, meaning backup liquids. I have art stuff like paint pens. Actually, let me show you. Okay, you can see it now. So these have like nail rings for manis. These are cute little gems like art stuff, French dips, backup holders, backup bottles, backup everything. These have never been used. And then here's like, I have a syringe for when I tried to do nail guards a while back. I would put like the lemon whatever essential oil to try to lift it it sucked more nail art stuff pens liquids um oh um, maniology stuff is in here sample baggies swatch sticks the basics you know backup stuff not like i use it anymore but i keep my acetone right here and here i keep more backup buffers and i keep all my liquid stuff because i want it standing up so nail polish remover acetone cuticle remover um disinfectant for my tools i keep all that in here and i actually need to move these things up in here or in here the cold hard truth was i able to clean this and the answer is yes so these are personal planning stuff. So I got the entire second shelf completely cleaned up. So no, 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 nothing nail stuff, nail related is on the second shelf. These are just personal planning boxes and hair things. But I was able to get rid of a lot of stuff in here, get rid of a lot of boxes, I have puppy pads. I have my fake hands in there for practicing, Sparkle & Co sub bags, a backup lamp. I keep this for um, all of my stuff I still have to swatch. Disregard the stuff that's over there. This is nail props. That is my um, dust collector. And here's where I keep my stamping polishes. But I'm really proud that I was able to clean up that whole area. So I'm gonna let you guys go now. I hope you guys had a great day. And yeah, thank you guys for watching.